welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing a glittery weave nail now you will have seen these nails done before i'm sure um uh, nail nails i'm pretty sure have one on their channel um there was one done on the live there was a live done on on weave nails on the nail Chemie group the other day um, but a couple of people have asked me if I'd do a video and because I'm genuinely struggling for ideas this week I thought well I might as well um, I did do one a nude nail uh, a nude weave nail but I'm going to use glitter today and I've got Madame Glam's aqua blue that's going to be my base colour so two coats of that cure in the LED lamp for 30 seconds then I've got this brush I've actually got some new brushes. They're actually, I actually got an eye brush set, so like makeup brushes, um, but I don't wear makeup. So I thought I'd use them for nails and they literally turn up five minutes after I've done this now. <laughs> so I'm not showing you my new brushes in this video, but I will have some new like brushes that I'm gonna use for glitter and pigments. Um, in that tacky layer, uh, the glitter I'm using is called peacock and it's utterly beautiful it's a fine sort of blue turquoisey blue hollow D what I, f I complete did i say that right hollow it's like a hollow blue fine glitter basically <laughs> and i've poured it onto the tacky layer and then i'm just using this brush just to burnish it in and then look you're just left with this really beautiful hollow glittery look oh and it's lovely it looks really nice wait till i top coat you wait till i top coat baby Right, this is, I'm actually using Nelkami's top coat. I meant to use Madden Glam's, but I don't know why I, I used Nelkami's. I think I thought I was using Nelkami gel polish. I've got, I'm honestly hashtag confused today. So anyway, I'm gonna top coat it with non-wipe top coat. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buff the surface. And I know you're probably thinking, what's she doing? But I want to draw some, we, we obviously need to draw our little weavy weaves on. So instead of putting, velvet matte top coat because i don't want it to even though even though i'm going to go back over with a shiny top coat i don't want there to be any i don't want it to compromise the hollow and sometimes i find if i do something matte and then i go over with shiny it doesn't look as hollow so i'm putting shiny buffing and then you i'm only doing this because it's easier to paint on a flat surface than it would be to paint on bobbly bits of glitter okay so that's why i'm matte top coating it um, <clears throat> and buffed it. Right, the, I'm using a gel paint to do this. You could use a gel polish. I just can't work with gel polishes to draw things with, so I need gel paints. And these are actually now Camus gel paints. So yeah, this is probably the most confusing part of the design. Um, the first bit is the most confusing, but if you see, I've done one line and it kind of bows up and then I've done no, it bows down. And then the next line I've done bowing up. And then the next line I've done bowing down. And then the next line I've done bowing up, right? And then I'm going to connect these two sides. Oh, this is really difficult to explain. So the next part, I'm going to go along the other side. Like the other side of the dots. And then this next bit, I'm going to go on the right side. Because I've gone on the right side on the left side. Oh no, I'm doing this bit now. See, now I'm going to really confuse you. Nats. So it's basically you kind of work in opposites. So here, this is the right side. That's the bit that I was talking about. So I'm going to show you, right? This, hang on. <sighs> right, this bit here, I've gone on the right side of the dots. This bit here, I've gone on the left side. And this bit, I've gone on the right side. You see? So you kind of work in, in opposites. I, I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm going to go, yeah, do, do you see what I mean? And then you kind of just do the same thing on the sides. Okay, so here we're gonna we've worked on the left side here so we're gonna go on the right side here do you see and then you just yeah you just kind of work your way so i mean it is kind of once you kind of get it it's it's easy but initially you you, you sort of start to do anything geez this is really confusing but it's really not it's quite you know you get there and you you get there <laughs> right i'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure and you're going to need a palette of some sort. I'm putting a little bit of black gel polish on the palette. Um, I've got two little blobs. One blob's bigger than the other. 
I'm also going to use, you can use top coat or base coat. I just grabbed my base coat. Um, I'm going to mix, um, no, I'm not. I'm going to put a little bit next to the small black dob. And then I'm going to mix that up because I want like, I'm going to, we're going to add some shading and I don't want it to be too opaque. So by mixing it in with the base coat, you're just sort of, you're changing the opacity of the, you know, you're making it, yeah, you know what I mean. So you're going to put this every place where the, the weave kind of goes over the top you want to put the gel polish you want to put the shadow underneath the weave right am i making sense oh god i, I make i'm making this sound so difficult so where the weave goes over the top right on the left and the right sides of that weave you put the gel polish the to, the, to make the shadow and it looks really weird at the minute but it kind of does come together at the end so we're going to put some here because you see this is the, the weave going over the top and then a bit here and a bit here you see you see what i'm doing do you know what it is <laughs> i'm not i'm gonna try and say as little as possible because i don't want to confuse the heck out of people because i feel like i could easily do that okay but once we put our main shadow in a little bit more here I'm going to give that a cure for 30 seconds, okay? It doesn't look like much yet, but don't worry, it will, it will. So that's going to go in for a cure. Then I'm going to add a little bit more black to our translucent black. Just darken it up a little bit. If you feel like you need a bit more, put a little bit more in, but don't put too much in. And then I'm literally going to put sort of like a little line's worth right up up next to that original line that we made just to darken up that area slightly but we okay darling you see just a little bit more there but not you don't want to go as far as the the original shadow does that make sense i think it might do okay so once you're happy pop it into the lamp and give it a cure for 30 seconds okay then we're going to add some white now so we're going to add the white on the opposite side so we put the black here the shadow we're going to put the white here so the white's going to go on the blue not anywhere near the shadow okay so yes yeah, going on the blue side not the shadow side and then once you start to put this on this is where the design really sort of brings the life to brings the design to life not brings the life to design <laughs> Oh my god so you want to do this on all of the all of the blue bits opposite the shadow line can you see you see it's really starting to take shape now isn't it and you want to make sure you get the bits on the very edges of the nails as well don't forget those and this is a gel paint I'm using as well. I wanted to use a gel paint because I want to get a nice thin, a nice thin line. And there we go. And I'll pop a picture in of the original one that I done. The original one that I done wasn't with glitter. This is the original one. But I really enjoy doing these. They're really therapeutic and they look amazing. Right, that's going to go in the lamp. This is going to cure for 60 seconds because this is a gel paint. And then I'm going to go over the top with my No Wipe Madden Glam No Wipe Top Coat. Um, normally I would do these velvet matte, but because this has got hollow glitter on it, um, it needs to be it needs to be shiny. But no, normally I'd do something like this matte. There we go. I, just, I had a little bump on it, so I just wanted to go over it again. Right, that's going to go in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. You can get 30% off any Madden Glam. Oh my god, I just knocked my cup off. Um, you can get 30% off any Madden Glam gel polishes using my code NATMUG30 and 10% off any nail sugar glitters using my code NATMUG10. Um, I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I really like this now. And I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, if I can get a video done. Um, yeah. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs>